Hi, Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. When you go into the studio for the first time, you will we'll probably have a learning curve with your headphone mix. Now, uh, it's uncomfortable the first time you listen to a headphone mix in a studio. Some studios have very intricate uh, ways of uh, giving you a headphone mix where you can control each instrument and give yourself your own little headphone mix. And some studios don't have, you don't have any ability to record your own mix or to manipulate your own mix. So just that's one thing to uh, look into when you're trying to find a studio is what, what do they have for uh, headphone mix uh, capabilities. But I would also just over on top of that um, uh, ability to manipulate your own mix, just be flexible and don't think you have to have everything perfectly right in the mix to do a take. Um, you're going to be in the middle of a take and you're going to think, oh, I wish I had more bass here. Oh, I wish I had more guitar. Don't stop. As long as you're recording, keep it going. And when you stop recording, you could say, hey, is there any way I could get some more bass in that mix? But more than anything, just be flexible. Try and make do with something that's not perfect. It, it, you'll be surprised when you go in the control room how great it'll sound, even though in the headphones you might not be so happy. So uh, that's just something to think about if it's your first few times in the studio. Your headphone mix will be a bit of a learning curve for you. Rock on.